Hey, this is Tony Ross for CreativeCow.net, and in this lesson, we're going to be doing a simple little movie clip with a play and pause functionality. And this is per request we received on the forum. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is what we're going to be creating. I've created this really awesome minimalist kind of thing here. It's kind of a scrolling timeline that um, I can click on. It stops. Click on again. It plays. It stops plays and if you notice there's a blue tint that I have here and it's just a little indicator for me letting me know that it's actually changing frames okay but that'll make sense in a second so uh, let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna make a new document here and this is in ActionScript 2.0 uh, what I'm gonna do first is grab a little rectangle tool here simple fascinating gray I'm just gonna click and drag a little rectangle just about the width here a um, little shortcut I'm gonna hold on my command key control on the PC just to select that and let's set my width to 550 um, and that's because I'm using the default of 550 by 400 I'll set my height and just go ahead and do 50 and set my X to 0 so that will line up looks good all right, now what I want to go ahead and do is convert this to a symbol. Let's do uh, F8. And this is going to be a movie clip. And we'll simply call this loop. And underscore MC. Um, I like getting in the habit of just calling this underscore MC with everything I'm doing, especially if it's a movie clip. Because when I go back in to give it an instance name, I already kind of know, oh, yeah, it's going to be loop underscore MC. Okay, so... Let's go inside this timeline. I'll simply double click. And now I'm in loop in C. Let's make a new layer. Let's go here. And I'm going to make a little our little image that's going to kind of move across here. It's a simple little square. Okay. Going to convert this to a symbol. F8. And we'll call it something really complicated like uh, square. Okay. Now, let's go to about frame 25. Both layers. Let's undo that real quick. Frame 25, both layers. There you go. And we'll just insert frames, F5. And on the top one here, where our little black squares want to enter a keyframe F6 and we'll just simply drag this over this is just taking care of a little animation so we can see stuff moving so frame 1 you're there frame 25 you're here let's click here right click or control click create motion tween okay that's happening looks good let's go back to scene 1 let's test this command return control enter on PC Okay, so we've got our little looping animation. It looks good. Now, uh, we're back at scene one here. Okay, and what I want to do is go ahead and put this looping animation inside of another movie clip. And the way that I'm going to do that, I have this selected. I'm going to simply press F8 again, and I'll simply call this one Play Pause. MC. Okay, now I'm going to double click, go inside here, and I'm going to create another layer for our scripting. This is going to be called our actions layer. Okay, and first thing we're going to do, we're going to simply say stop. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give a little bit of control to our little movie clip here. And in order to control this movie clip, we have to give it a name. Well, this is our instance of loop MC, so I'm just going to call it loop underscore MC. Okay, see how that comes in handy? All right, so what I'm going to do next. Let's go to our actions, and I'm going to say, let's say, let's loop underscore MC 
dot on release. Now, if you notice, I just did O-N and then a capital R, and I get, hey, on release. And I'm going to type in equals function. And do my open and close brackets here. And it's just a good habit to get into to set those initially so you don't uh, forget to leave one there. Okay, now what this says is a uh, timeline stop. And then it's going to start talking to this one particular thing loop movie clip. If I click on you and release you, then I want you to do something. Okay, now what we're going to do at this point is we're going to tell this timeline, not the loop timeline, not the loop MC timeline, but the play pause timeline. We're going to tell that to go to the next frame, even though there isn't a next frame yet. We're writing this ahead of schedule. So here's what we have to do. We're going to write in this. Now, if we simply wrote this, it would be talking to loop underscore MC, but we don't want to talk to loop underscore MC. We want to talk to the movie clip that is housing that, which is play pause. So the way we're going to do that is simply type in this dot underscore parent. Okay. Dot. And what we're going to say is next frame, meaning that we want it to go to the next frame. Okay. So we're saying, Hey, stop the timeline. Uh, loop underscore MC. If I click on you and release you, we want you to make the parent of you, which is the play pause menu, the timeline we're in right now to go to the next frame. Okay. Now let's make a next frame. Um, on our little bottom layer, where we have our little looping movie clip. Let's do F6. And just so we'll know we're on the next frame, I'm going to do something sneaky like, oh, I don't know. Let's change our tint of this so it's blue. So frame one, it's gray, then it's blue. For our actions, little sneaky trick here. Hold on your Alt or Option key. Click and drag this over. Whoops, let's do it again. Hold on Alt, Option, click and drag it over. Let go of the mouse, let go of the keyboard. Now, what we're going to do on this one, instead of next frame, We'll simply highlight and type in PREV as in previous frame. Okay. So we have, if we click here on frame one, it'll go to the next frame. But if we click here on frame two, it'll go to the previous frame. So we have this toggle going on. That's what should happen. Let's test it out. Command, return, control, and run PC. Okay. So I'm clicking back and forth. That's good. That is awesome. That's what we want to have happen. Now, let's get our play and pause functionality going. So let's go to frame one. Go to our actions. Let's add a little bit of action here. Let's go under our this parent frame. And what we're going to type in is loop underscore mc dot stop okay and because I'm being sneaky I'm just gonna highlight that and copy it all right let's go to our next frame go to this next line and instead of stop let's do a little paste there by the way I'm gonna say play okay so all in all what are we doing? We're saying on frame one, uh, stop in the timeline, uh, loop underscore MC. If we click on your release you, this is what we want you to do. The parent timeline, the holder of this, pretty much the play pause movie clip we created. We want you to go to the next frame. Oh, and by the way, there's that little looping animation. We want it to stop. And we're doing all that with one little click. What are we doing in the next frame? We are saying, hey, loop underscore MC, if we click on this, we want you to go to the previous frame of our play pause movie clip. And while you're at it, 
we want you to make loop MC play. Okay, let's see if this works. Command return. So we come down here. Okay, that's stopping. It's playing. Stop, play. Okay, now the cool thing about this, once you understand this, you can do things like, well, maybe, let's go into our loop timeline here. Maybe you actually have music that's actually in a loop. You can control that. Um, in addition to that, uh, maybe instead of just having these do different, two different colors, maybe you can have text. Maybe uh, frame one, it's like play or pause. Um, excuse me, like uh, frame one would be pause and then frame two, you'd list play. It's kind of written almost backwards. Maybe there's an on and off switch. Okay. Um, but let's kind of, let's go back here, make it look plain like no one knows that we're changing anything. Let's make it none. And we'll test this out. And so we've got our little play and pause functionality here. It's pretty simple. And on top of that, in our main timeline, it's just we can move this around wherever because we have it set up in a movie clip. So I certainly hope that helps. This has been Tony Ross for CreativeCow.net. Remember, keep it simple, make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea.